This is an Expanding Earth program originally written in the early 1990s for a Sinclair QL computer. It's shown running on a QL emulator here and the program code can be examined at dynox.org. So uh, we first of all start the QL emulator, attach the folder to the expanding earth folder, uh, reset the memory to the maximum and then we can press F12 to go to full screen, press F1 to start the program, press S to start the menu and then once we've done that we can uh, press A for an active to view an active globe that has been previously defined. So this shows the previous globe that has been defined, expanding earth globe that has been defined. If we want to come out of that we can just press uh, escape, get back to the menu again, press active again and we don't want to show a globe this time we want to define the globe so we can view it in the longitude The program then constructs the globe starting at 200 million years ago in 10 million years increments up to the present day. The listing on the right indicates the plate data and age as it is calculated. I've just shown uh, one or two of these actually happening but I've cut most of them out and we've now jumped up to I think 20 million years yes 20 million years and 10 million and then finally the present day uh, ocean floor ages of the ocean floor are being plotted on a globe of today's diameter. If the program crashes, uh, just type run again and it will restart the program. S to get back into the menu and then A to get back to the active globe again and we can actually see what we've generated Press escape back to get back to the menu again. Uh, draw a globe now. So this will just draw one globe. We can type in the age in uh, increments of 10 million years. So we've gone for 40 million years in this one. We can view above whatever longitude we uh, feel like. Uh, we can choose to save that or or not, and press escape to get get back out to the menu again. Uh, 
press C to clear the screen and then we can press R to redraw all the plates uh, we can reset the age again this time 50 million years notice how the radius is set to uh, 5650 kilometers And again, we can we could save that map if we want to. Uh, press F for full screen. Just gets uh, full screen without any um, projections on it. Or if we press W, we can get back and uh, define a window. So we can now input a an enlarged scale for the map and tell it which uh, latitude and longitude we want the bottom left hand corner to be and press R to redraw that plate This is just drawing the uh, European plate and we can actually see Britain drawn on the left hand side. Uh, so we can redraw the whole uh, the whole of the map again in uh, Mercator at uh, 20 million years ago um, just to show you how um, how, how it's uh, pulling the data in I'll set the speed to a bit slower And we'll put the speed back again to the full speed just to finish off. And again we can uh, save that if we want or not as the case may be. The uh, outline function doesn't work anymore, so just restart the program. Uh, the position doesn't work properly, and that crashes. But fortunately, we can actually go in and uh, we can edit edit the positions data directly so if we open up uh, positions at uh, 100 million years and open that with notepad because uh, not word because uh, word 
would uh, introduce all sorts of strange characters into it. Uh, so the first bit of um, data is the diameter of the Earth, or the ripped. Adjust the Earth to um, 7000 and uh, the first data is South America which will uh, reposition reposition in a bit of a strange place and rotate it round a bit just save that back out again and uh, restart the now to F12 again to get it to full screen and we can draw a globe with that data now it was uh, 100 million years so set that to 100 million years Notice the radius is set to 7,000 kilometers. No, we don't want to do a quick redraw. And notice how the uh, the diameter of the Earth is too large now for the screen. Uh, the position of South America is uh, in a very strange place, and also all the um, existing plates have all um, moved apart because um, because basically the earth has you can overwrite that if you want of course again come out with escape uh, clear the screen and we can redraw a Mercator projection um, so it's already at 100 million years so here we go it's got the, exactly the same data again where the uh, South America has been moved to a very strange place again and notice how all the continental plates are, have all moved apart That's about it. I hope this has given you some useful ideas of how you might develop your own expanding earth program.